<laughs> All right, well, um, when I first met Michael, I thought he was kind of obnoxious. And um, Ashley and I used to actually kind of rip on him a little bit. And we both thought that he was I like this story weird and he talked too much about himself. Story? Yes, it gets better. The oh. worst love story I ever heard. <laughs> Shut up. Um, after Ashley left, then I started to hang out with him more. And then we got put on the block together, so we basically isolated ourselves in the gold room. And then he asked me if I'd seen Spider-Man. That was his first move on you ever? Yeah. <laughs> what a dork! <laughs> his first move ever was, have you seen Spider-Man? I thought you guys had kissed a million times before that. No. That was the first kiss? <laughs> Man, that's like show embarrassing. <laughs> Or she pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> I sense some jealousy from the other side of the room. Yeah, I sense some show jealousy. <laughs> show jealousy? Yeah. How did you and Shannon hook up? Well, I'll tell you exactly how. We moved in the house, and there was there was twelve of us, and there was ten beds, an army cot, and then one person had a floor with a blanket, and that was me. I was the last one to move in. So like everyone ran to their bed, and Monica had a, a queen size water bed. And I was with Kent. Monica had a queen size water bed. Queen size that? water bed. She and she. You have to remember, she was there the entire show except for the last two days, mm -hmm. and she never left the bed. She had it every single day without once missing it. And anyway, I was like, Hey, Monica, you know, I don't, I don't have a bed. I just have this, this like scratchy army blanket with a pillow on the floor, literally like on a mat, uh, not even an army cot. Like that was what Kent got, and Kent and I were sleeping in the hallway. And I was like, Can I sleep in the uh, water bed with you? And she's like, Uh, uh, baby. So I was like, okay, like, you know, no one knows anyone, so you just want to be friendly. So I slept on the fucking floor on a cot. I mean, on a, on a fucking, um, the floor. And then after, like, two days boogie one HOH, and Kent snored and farted so much, they let Kent sleep in the HOH, and Boogie moved to Kent's cot. So I'm still on the floor. And, um, no, sorry, Kent moved to Boogie's bed, I moved to Kent's cot. And it was a cot just like this. And then um, I slept right next to Shannon, but there was a, on our season there was a glass wall. It was made completely of glass. So she slept on one side and I slept on the other. Aww. And then, um, so any one night I was, you know, she had, a, she had a much bigger, this story really sucks, so don't get your hopes up. But um, anyway, she was like, and everyone's like, good night. It was kind of like this. And I'm like, yeah, this cot really fucking sucks. And she was like, well, you know, get in bed with me. And I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I'm the, not the dumbest guy either. And I was like, all right, I'm sleeping on a cot. And uh, this chick said get in bed with her, so I did. And the story really sucks, but I will tell you this. Like, we never even kissed on the show. Really? Yeah. Like, the, I mean, like, we snuzz like nuzzled and, like, kissed on the cheek. But, like, she would refuse. Like, I was all for it, but she refused to kiss me. But we would, like, spoon, like, just a lot in the hammock, in the bed, or whatever, and uh, they would just splice in audio of her jumping rope and breathing really hard from her mic, and then they would splice in Bunky being like, I think they're having sex, and they would, and that, like, just made it look like we were constantly hooking up. Hmm. But if you know, if you watch the DVD, like, never once do we actually kiss, and I try to kiss her, and she always, like, turns away. That story was boring as fuck, huh? <laughs>